developer's action. This is the battle for the planet Procyon between ELH playing as Takonov Defense Forces as the defenders and a group of mercenaries representing SJ as Blakest Forces. This is a 4v4 match we had to substitute out on We had to substitute out in uh, Bedrock, it wasn't loading, so we played Mirage. We're going to try and hit, do hard-hitting, quick battles to see if we can finish this campaign. So we'll be uh, eliminating a lot of the setup time, but uh, for 4v4 or five, uh, battles, it should be easy for the teams to assemble their list quickly. A lot on the line here for both teams. This match will need to be certified by the council to be considered official, but if it is... Uh, a lot, uh, lot riding on both teams here. Procyon is a world only two jumps away from the capital of the Blagus forces. It was taken via a coup via the Takana forces, uh, Chernigo. We've been putting off this battle for a while and it was the one available to us earlier today. The Capellan so we're turned back in their attempt to take neutral planet Shipka. That is now two planets that they failed to take after having uh, good success in the first couple of turns of the tournament. Should the Aridani forces uh, successfully defeat their opponents in the majority of the maps, then they will uh, hang on to Procyon, which will be a critical planet. And they'll be able to strike uh, deep within the heart of the Blakest uh, part of the star map. Again, this uh, match will need to be certified uh, by the council given the extreme s circumstances in which we are playing it. Old fashioned brawl here. Teams ran into each other. Kentax is going to be f uh, focused on by three of the mechs while the Avatar tries to take on Bob. Kentax has had to take a lot of damage here. Team's doing a good job of spreading the damage. Mr. Gray trying to back up and get some LRM fire on there. Bob and Marius moving up. Mr. Gray won't be able to do much versus that battle armor. As you can see, Mr. Gray is now down. Still anybody's match because keep in mind that battle armor is not a carrying asset if they did a lot of damage on Kentax. Kentax is now down. Now they're back to a uh, uh, three to two advantage here. They'll now focus on Donner and uh, it looks like that the uh, this could go either way but Bob trying to move up now. Tonnage pretty equal between the two teams. Bob down though and uh, That'll be three on one. Marius really good, but Don are not in a position to be able to run away. They need to take down one of these mechs quickly. And uh, unfortunately, we now have interference. 